In this session, we are going to look at how to create relationship in the Power BI. Relationships are very important in case if you want to have the interactive dashboard. So to have interactive dashboard, so you should know how the relationship works. So now let's look at how to create the relationship in the Power BI. Let's go to the Power BI screen. So let's add few files here, uh, get data. Excel and then uh, gets go to sales report. I have a sales report here. Let me load this. So I have two files. So this is the sales number. So where you have a date, country, brand, product code, spec, region, and the quantity and sales. Another one is it's an empty tab. Just an empty tab. I don't want to load that. I'm going to load only the sales report. So just load it. So now you can see 338,500 line items we have. So now uh, let's look at the report. So now uh, here if you see uh, we have date and we have country, uh, brand, product, specs, region, quantity, sales. So let me do few basic uh, changes. Uh, what I will do, let me go to transform because I don't want to spend time on the uh, uh, transform data just going to do few uh, changes to have the uh, correct data in place like uh, date is in date format I'm just going to check the date is in date format so all the text are in the text format let's look at the number format so quantity and sales in number format okay so once you move to transform so all these changes will be applied uh, automatically just close close and apply so this is the change I wanted and then so now if you see here, uh, let's go, okay, if you want to change the format, you can click here, you can change the format, date format, okay, so in case if I want only the date to be uh, visible, so I can click this uh, DDMM, Y, 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 this is the format I want, okay, so now let's put it, so now in this data, uh, assume uh, I have only uh, in this data I have only product code okay so which is LT003 LT004 uh, LT003 is nothing but the laptop so I also have another product oh, let me filter M ML005 it's a mobile MT004 uh, it's a product PC006 I have this products so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load another table okay which will have product name against the product code so here I have only product code but I don't want product code so when I present uh, my dashboard to someone so I cannot uh, uh, show my dashboard with the uh, codes because I have to show with the names but when you extract the data from the uh, database most of the time it comes with the code only because you don't get the uh, name of the product okay you get only the codes like a uh, product you'll get a code sometime you'll get whatever brands you sold you'll get a code for country you'll say uh, in case of it is Hong Kong uh, HK0205 so when you get the data from database it comes only with the the codes so now product I have this okay so I'm going to upload another table so to do that let me go here sales report so here I have a file called mapping so let me copy this i'll paste it here so mapping file so let's see what mapping i have in that file so i have two mappings in this file the first one is country wise i have country code two digit country code three digit and region 
country related to which region like Australia, Asia. So these are related to Asia specific. This is UK and this is, this is Europe and then this is Middle East and this is North America. Okay. For country base, I have region, country code two digit, two digit and country code three digit. So same thing I have in my data also. If you see my, if you look at the Power BI data, so I have a country, but I don't have the country related to which region. So now loading this table into a Power BI, so I can get these mappings. Okay. Similarly, the second mapping is product. So I have product here and product code here. In my data, I have product code, but I don't have product. Okay. It's kind of VLOOKUP. So uh, how do we uh, generally, we uh, Excel, how do we do? We get the raw data and also we have the mapping table separately. So where whatever uh, the name or description which we required based on the code. So we use VLOOKUP and we get the information. This is also almost similar to this. So now I'm going to load this data. So before loading, so what I'm going to do is, as I mentioned in my previous session, like in case if you are going to uh, use a mapping table, better to have it in the table instead of having, having as a normal Excel report. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert everything because if it's a mapping, you can have all the mapping in one sheet itself because you don't need to maintain each and every mapping table in different, different worksheet. So now if you see I have mapping table, I'm going to have all the mapping table in one tab itself. So now I selected this insert table enter okay so now the table has been created then go to table design to remember the name just make it give proper name country mapping so this is the name which i'm going to give similarly i'm going to change this also to table once you change the data to table then you can pick the information separately while uploading into power bi so now this is product code and product name so this one I'm going to change it to product mapping. Okay, now I have this two mapping. I'm just going to close the file. Control S, close. Now let's go to Power BI. Get data from Excel. So now I'm going to choose the mapping file. So when I choose mapping file, I will get the sheet and also I will get the, the mapping which we created. So now let's look at this. This is not the table. You can see these two are highlighted in blue. So these are table. So mapping is nothing but if you select this, you can see all the information. So the country information as well as product information, it's collapsed. Okay. You cannot use. Okay. In case if you have multiple data in the same tab, you should use only names. You cannot directly import the data because it would create confusion. So now let's look at this one, the table which we created. So this is the first table country mapping. This is the second table product mapping. See, it came as it is what we had in the Excel. So let's select this to load because we don't need to transform, just load the data. See, it's detecting the relationship. So now, once you load this, Power BI will automatically detect the relationship. So now if you see here, but it won't do perfect. So here uh, you can see if you double click this, this is not, we loaded this two table country and the product mapping, but Power BI automatically detected the relation, relationship between these two. So now let's double click and see what Power BI has chosen. So it choose the sales report, country Canada. So here also it choose the country. Okay. Many to one relationship. So it's perfect. But it did not create the relationship between these two. So sometime it happened. So you can also create the relationship. So now this is my report. This is my mapping. So first, let me delete this. I don't want this because I want to create the relationship myself. Because if you allow to allow Power BI to create the relationship, then whenever you add data, it creates its own. Then you will not have the control. So because since Power BI is automatically uh, 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 doing the relationship. So you don't know what exactly Power BI is doing because it sometimes it may uh, set wrong relationship as well. So always delete if you are the, uh, since if you are too begin, uh, beginner to the Power BI, then you can use the auto uh, relationship. So whatever the relationship with Power BI is set, you can use it. In case if you are not getting desired result, then you can come and check the relationship, whether it's correct or not. Now I'm going to delete this. I'm going to do my relationship own. 
okay so now so the what is the purpose of relationship so now what i want is i have three tables here okay so now as per our relationship the tables are not linked okay so this is one dedicated table this is one dedicated table and this is one dedicated table all are separate separate table so now what i want is i want to know my product okay let me choose this table this is my product product wise i want sales is it a correct value wrong the purpose of getting this strong value because this both the table are not linked okay so i have product code here i'm picking product name from this table and sales from this table since both are not linked okay so we are getting incorrect results here so this is the purpose of creating the relationship the next session will see what are the type of relationship how to create relationship but here if you say to fix this okay let me do do a simple simple work uh, so now if you see you have to identify the common field between these two table in case if you are going to uh, map two table or link two table okay to create an interaction between two table you have to identify the common fields so if you see so here product code i have in sales table also i have product code okay so product code is the see don't go by the header you have to go by the content okay if you see in the sales report i have only product okay but if you see the product uh, mapping so it says product code okay but the information which has the field that is same only in both the tables so see the data so now what you can do is either you can directly drag so this is my product code this product code i'm going to drag it to product so now the relationship has been created now let's look at the data see now so i got the sales for the respective products earlier we got the same 195 million in all the sales now you can see sales for the individual line item okay this is the relationship hope you understood thanks for watching this video we will see you in another video bye bye